today, we're retrofitting the parcel shelf onto our 2021 Tesla Model Y. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I'm JQ Louise. Today's video is a little bit different because this is a basically a recording of a Tesla service appointment. So I'm gonna be showing everything that happened when Tesla service came and actually installed the rear parcel shelf into our 2021 Tesla Model Y. So I'll be walking you through everything that they did. And honestly, it was a great experience and it was super fast. So I'm gonna try to break everything down for you, show you what it looked like, what the process was of scheduling the service appointment, and just kind of telling you what we think about this parcel shelf. I know there's a lot of talk about it online right now because everyone with 2021 Tesla Model Ys is really looking to retrofit it because it adds some extra security and just some more functionality. So let's get into it and let's start with the Tesla service appointment. Okay, so let's start with the first step and that is actually scheduling a service appointment with Tesla mobile service. So we've done one Tesla service before when we had the home link installed, but if you haven't done it before, let's talk about that process before we get started onto the actual install. So this isn't a, you know, what you would call standard service. You do have to request it and kind of break it down for them. So what we did, we messaged them on the Tesla app requesting the parcel shelf install and we actually found the part numbers for the two side panels and the shelf itself on one of the tesla forums online so we did that and i will leave all of those part numbers in the description below that way it's nice and easy for you if you you know want to have this done on your car so that was the first step messaging them in the tesla app for a service appointment and explaining what we wanted from them. And we requested a quote to see how much it would cost for the parts and for the install. So to break down the cost of the parts, it was $70 for each of the side panels. So there were two of those, and then it was $60 for the shelf itself. So that's $200 in parts. And then for labor, they quoted us at $126 at $195 per hour. So. So basically they're quoting it for like 35 or 40 minute job, uh, which was a really good sign because we were like, okay, you know, is it worth trying to install it ourselves and just buy the parts from Tesla? But after what we saw online, honestly, it was pretty involved install. And if they could get it done in under an hour, it seemed worth it. So total with tax and everything, it was $340 and that's here in Massachusetts. So um, that's how much they quoted us and that's how much it ended up being at the end. We've seen online that some people have had difficulty in actually getting Tesla to order the parts and to actually do this service. So that's why we really spelled it out for them. So I'll definitely leave all the information below so that way you can just copy and paste it and use that to request the service. But there are rumors that the reason Tesla is trying to kind of hold people off on this right now is that they will be offering this as a full kit in the future, just on the website or, you know, maybe in the app itself, you know, under the service. So, you know, right now there is not a standard way to request this. You have to go into other and, you know, spell out the whole request with the part numbers and what you want them to do to the car. All right, so let's break down what happened when Tesla mobile service showed up and started to disassemble our car. So basically the technician started to disassemble everything, um, you know, cause he had to put in two new side panels and then put in the shelf itself. So the tricky part is that he actually has to partially disassemble the seat belt from the floor. So the, both of these side panels, you'll see it threads the seat belt through it. Um, so this was one of the things that we were concerned about that we didn't want to deal with installing these parts ourselves. And there's actually a million clips. So again, a lot of people online are saying that they were worried that they broke the clips or that the technician, you know, may have, you know, accidentally broken some of the clips. So you'll see in these shots that, you know, he goes through this very fast. So honestly, it's hard to tell if he did break any of the clips. It didn't seem like he did. And we haven't noticed anything rattling in the car. So for us, 
I'm not too worried about it, but that is a definitely a big concern with this retrofit. And, you know, that's what I think about any of these modifications when they are an actual retrofit. You know, you, you're taking apart the car from stock to, you know, whatever these new parts are. So even though these are Tesla parts, you know, that is still the risk. So definitely keep that in mind when you're looking at this because you will see he's fully, you know, disassembling the whole back interior of the car to put in these new side panels, but he does go through it very fast and everything looks normal at the end. So you can see that's the lip that the shelf rests on. It's the same on the other side. And, you know, at this stage in the process, the car was almost all the way back together. And there's actually magnets in there. So the shelf rests on it and is also magnetized to it so that it doesn't rattle or move around when you're driving. Okay, so this is what it looks like after it was fully installed. We're actually really happy with the quality of this thing it's pretty thick it feels like it's like wood covered with felt um so it's really heavy duty but to be honest there are a few things that are weird about this compared to a lot of other shelves and you know trunk covers in other suvs it's not that easy to fold and pop up you can't easily pop it up like you can in so many other cars um and see it kind of slides down so you know, this was obviously an after the fact thing. As we all know, a lot of people have requested this for Teslas and they're just coming out with it now for the Model Y. The reason it needs to fold up all the time is if you want to lift this up to access the, you know, the under trunk right here. So you can only lift this up when your trunk cover is up. You can't lift this part up when this thing is folded. Okay, so a few funny things about this parcel shelf. So right now you can see that this seat is all the way back. These other two seats are, you know, they're not reclined fully. And there's a gap here where the parcel shelf is and the seat. So at least they made the parcel shelf so that you can still fully recline your back seats. But it is funny that, you know, the fit isn't great if you're looking for aesthetics. So there is a gap when the seats are forward a little bit but you can still put your seats all the way back. So now you can see with all the seats back, it fits nice and neatly. So I think you can see this better in the install part of the video, but see, this slopes downward because it needs to fit for the rear tailgate once it closes. It hits right about here where the speaker is. So it's funny when we saw the guy installing it, we're like, is this shelf bent or is it supposed to be like that? But it is, it just has to slope down a little bit so that it fits, you know, with the contour of the roof and with the tailgate. So definitely keep that in mind if you're looking at the part when you get it. This does actually look a little bit bent. Um, the other thing is when you see him installing it, you we notice that, you know, there's magnets all over here and this is pretty solid. Like it doesn't seem like it'll rattle. We haven't driven around a ton in it yet, but so far it feels pretty sturdy. Like it won't make a rattling noise. And, you know, we were talking to the install guy and honestly, it might actually provide a little bit more of a sound barrier and kind of a sound cushion because, you know, now we have this whole nother piece of material in the trunk where it was, you know, very echoey and just an empty space before. So, you know, who knows, maybe it will actually improve the sound quality, you know, in the car when you're on the highway or that kind of thing. Okay, so this is what it looks like once you close the trunk and you can see the parcel shelf in the back seat. So it does have a nice finish. It's a lot nicer than I thought it would be. I was worried it would look pretty aftermarket, but honestly, it looks pretty stock. And as you can see, it doesn't cover these two speakers. I know a lot of people are worried about, you know, where it would come in, but it does not cover them. And I actually think it will improve the sound from the speakers because now, you know, the sound will just be coming out over the top of the parcel shelf and not going into just an empty space. And also, I really think it will help with the sound deadening. I mean, this thing is solid. It, I don't think it will shake, but also, you know, it's just coming up with another, you know, sound barrier and, you know, another buffer for any road noise or that kind of thing. So 
I think this will actually have a lot of great benefits for us, especially on the highway and long drives. But obviously, you know, it covers the full space. So I know for safety and, you know, if you have anything in the car, it should work great for that, which is the main purpose. You know, we did have Tesla service to come and do it. And honestly, the guy was super quick. It was under an hour, pretty painless process for us. Um, you know, I think he did a great job, all things considered. You know, I don't think it's a perfect fit. You can see some of these panel gaps back here as well, but you know, that's what it looks like. So overall, happy about it. We'll definitely keep you guys updated if there is any road noise or rattles or anything else. All right, so last thing, you know, obviously this is mainly for security and we're outside the car in a garage and you cannot see anything. And just like I just showed you, it does fully cover it up. So, you know, it just looks very plain back there. We're shining a flashlight back there so you guys can see the shelf, but it's fully covered. So that's a huge plus of this thing. So I think it was definitely worth it, but you know, we'll give you guys our thoughts after we've, you know, driven around with the car with it for a little bit. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for lots more Tesla Model Y content. And be sure to check out the links below to all of the Tesla accessories that we have installed on our 2021 Tesla Model Y.